Hello, and this is Zach Smith from Periscope. We are here at the end of the Shorter versus Barry basketball game, where it was a wild game, but Shorter came out victorious, 81 to 78. As the floors of the Winter King Center rumbled with eager fans, the stage was set for one of the most attended rivalry games in Shorter history, housing over 2,000 spectators. With every person in attendance on their feet and enough noise to tap the Richter scale, the Shorter men took care of business, business at home. Before the round ball competition started, the fans decided to do a little competing themselves. The pregame music gave birth to a dance-off between Shorter and Barry's students. This stomp the yard enactment was an appropriate beginning to a nail-biting, back-and-forth college rivalry game. In the first half, Barry struck first, scoring the first five points of the game, granting the Vikings players and their fans early momentum. The Hawks quickly responded with two free throws from Kedrick Wilson and a three-pointer from Jarris Jackson to, to set the score even. The Vikings then regained the lead and maintained it most of the first half until Shorter's Thomas Pernalaskis tied it up with a strong reverse layup with 3.43 left to go. With the combination of Shorter's overwhelming crowd and Pernalaskis' 17 points in the half, the Hawks went into halftime leading 35-31 and never looked back. Shorter continued their vibrant play, maintaining the lead the whole second half. The lead fluctuated as high as eight points, but also to a minimum of one in the last seconds. After an intentional foul by Barry's Jess Mullins, Wilson scored two, free, two key free throws that gave the Hawks a three-point lead, 81-78, and the icing on the cake. The victory against Barry is head coach Chad Warner's first crosstown rivalry win. According to his players, the young and inspiring coach emphasized defense, fast breaks, and three-pointers during preseason training, and his team did just that, shooting 67% from three-point land and hustling for seven steals. Pernalaska scored, led all scores with 30 points and a hot hand from beyond the arc, nailing five, th five three-pointers. Three of his teammates also scored in double digits, Montagus Brown with 13, Darius Williams also had 13, and Jackson with 10. Barry's Chris Clark fueled his team with 25 points, closely followed by Daniel Ferguson with 19. The Shorter Hawks will return to Winthrop King Center on Saturday against SSAC opponent Bruton Parker at 4 p.m. This is Zach Smith reporting for the Periscope News.
I'm Zach Smith for the Periscope News.